business and they all wanna get down One minute curtain up, stomach's upset Now it's like you jumping out the plane Open your shoe, gon' let out First show got blues, second show crowd move On the show, the chick in the front row Show the booze, and I ain't got a clue How it feels to be you Cause when I take my last breath, I ain't got no excuse Cause I rode this damn train to the motherfucking dirt And I don't give a damn if your feelings get hurt Cause you sacrifice, you don't appreciate the work That's why I'm hanging with these models, I understand it's just a perk And I do it for all my dreamers, the kids with misdemeanors The outcasts in the back of the class, you know believe it I was the same way, went against the grain And it's nothing like a pleasure, it's a little bit of pain Give me the rock, been performing all my life Yes, indeed, it's future shock. I can't wait. What we got hit? What the hell? Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome. That's it. Jesse Freya. The manager of the Neo Demo Revolution and the manager of one Casey Gordon. Casey Gordon has caused a lot of havoc since making his. I mean, I know who she is, but my question is when I say what the hell is, what the hell is she doing out here? Your guess is as good as mine. Well, you know Shazine is power hungry. She won't stop until she, she feels like she's taken over CCL. And before she, before long, she might even try to take over DCA again. That's just how, that's just how power hungry she is. We have a load of show for you to see me. I was going to talk about it, but apparently Shazine's out here, so I... And uh, Shazine wants to talk, I guess. No yeah. surprise here. We have to. We have to. Okay. I guess we have to. Yeah, you gotta shut what they call the fuck up. Something, <laughs> something like that. Yeah. he's done in DCA and in CCL are the things he does on a regular and let's not get it twisted he's still signed to DCA he could win the CCL world title and then walk right into the DCA arena with it if he comes out a future shot with the belt and just think about what that would do to both companies 
and and he's already declared himself the number one contender for the DCA world title. I would say this, this is a scary ass dude. Well, yeah. Great team back to his hand at championship over. Casey Gordon won that championship. He's gonna have to beat it away from him. Well, no offense to the great D, but I mean, you were right. Is it wise for him to go against a man who's literally taken out just about everyone on your roster in record time? Not even breaking a sweat doing it. Jean is on her way to controlling CCL. That's what she wants. Trust me. She did the same to my company and look where it led. Just think about what would happen if she controls CCL with the world champion and the women's tag Tag champions on her side. No, disres no disrespect, but do you really want to doubt her with that man behind her? I'm just saying, without a, now without a fight, she, they're gonna have to fight. That just might happen. No one Casey. Wait a minute. Oh, what? Oh, oh, oh boy, oh, here, we oh, oh, here we go. This is what I talked about. This is what I told you guys about. Let me, say, let me tell you something. This is probably going to be the first time since you came back, but I'm actually going to say this. I'm happy to see CJ with it out here. Time to play the future, gentlemen. Oh, God. Just imagine these two bulls rocking horns right now. Two of the most unstable men on the, in the entire world right here. And like I said, Casey may be even more crazy than CJ Wizard. Oh, damn. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us how you really feel. <laughs> I think he just did. <laughs> this is gonna get ugly right here. Probably about as ugly as Shazim's hair. Back straight, motherfucker. This arena might explode right here. So let me get this straight. You both think you're the number one contender. You both think you deserve to go on a future shot and face great D. You think the gold is as good as yours, huh? Well, you better think again. Go either one of you deserve a damn thing. You ain't earned it. 
not by a long shot. And Gordon, you might have been down at the past three weeks. You might have beaten everybody's ass, but the way you did it, old Rachel Redneck looks at it, and all he sees is the overgrown puss. Why? Because you ain't proved a damn thing to me, or anybody else for that matter, except the fact you know how to jump somebody from behind. The difference between you and me is, I don't need to ambush you. I'll come right up to you, look at the fear in your little eyes, as I tell you exactly what the hell I'm going to do, and then commit to whipping your ass, just like I said I would. No guerrilla warfare needed. I don't need to hide behind a damn bush. I don't need to play hide and seek. I don't pretend to be Michael Myers and come out of the damn darkness when somebody ain't looking. This ain't a horror flick. And uh -uh. I don't think so. And if it is, you sure as hell ain't the one everyone should be running from. Hell, you ain't even man enough to speak for yourself. If you got something to say, say it to your damn self, son. It's clear to see that old dirty whore in the ring has bigger balls than you, Gordon. <laughs> and you will be. Yeah, I'm talking to you. The only some bitch standing in the ring that looks exactly like Whoopi Goldberg. Just cause Patrick Swayze, like he did in the movie Ghost, jumped in your damn body a couple weeks ago and saved you from the ass whipping you were receiving at the clutch of the Armageddon. That's right, everybody in the arena knows you're about to tap that little piece of charcoal you call a hand for mercy. But regardless of what Sam Wheat told you, even in Ghost 2, you still ain't walking away and cashing a damn check and sorry ass promised you. Not a chance in hell. You both think you're, you're the number one contender? You both want to earn your title shot? Well, tonight's your chance, because it's all three of us in that ring. There ain't going to be a damn place to hide. There ain't going to be any lurking in the shadows. No sneak attacks. No ghost to save you. Just two size 14 boots. One for each of you little bastards. Some birds of prey and the red eyes of Armageddon to open up the gates of hell itself with a smile on his damn face. And there ain't a damn thing any of you can do about it. Because when you're dealing with a raging redneck, you get dealt with. So let me get this straight. Ray Gettys, CJ Wizard, and Casey Gordon are going to be in the same ring at the same time tonight. Barely. Uh, yeah. Like and, I said, and, this arena is going to explode. And apparently the winner will be, without a shadow of doubt, the number one contender for the world title. I mean, I thought CJ Wizard and Casey were going to make CCL explode when they got together, but now you add Raging Redneck in the mix. CCL may never be the same after the night. You're not kidding. I mean, you take the unstability of Casey Gordon, you take the even more unstability of CJ Wizard, and then you got the Raging Redneck who needs no description necessary, and you got yourself an explosion thing to happen in the middle of the ring tonight.
Last week, DC is out in Washington. Issue the challenge to Team CCL for a best of three series between the participants in the Air Force Elimination Tag Match at Shot. Nathan not going to compete tonight, so it will be just two members of Team CCL and FBA Future Foundation taking on two members of Team BCN. We only know one of them at this point, that being, I believe the man about to come out. And here he is. He's a Alexander, Washington. You want know more about Alexander Washington than... Oh, 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 I just noticed. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I, I noticed somebody the guy, back. I the guy behind him is Jordan Sylvia, who is the other member of Team BCA. As much as I don't like the guy's attitude, he is the second man in my team for future shots. Alexander Washington, the longest reigning DCA Destiny Champion in the company's history. He led the group known as The Change. I'm sure people who have seen DCA know what kind of havoc they caused. And ironically enough, it was Shazine Freya who led that group. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and say it right now. I already do not like it. Hmm. <laughs> you and pretty much everyone else in DCA. And Jordan Sylvia on the outside, he also feels entitled to be world champion one day. He has a lot of talent in the ring. He just has to get past the attitude problem. But Sylvia is a credible competitor in the ring. He's been close to the world title on many occasions. Well, I, I like the fact that he's a, a credible athlete or a competitor or whatever the hell, but he needs to stay his ass off the apron. He's not in this match. Well, Jordan will go to any lengths to win, and so will Alexander. Now, Phoenix, using those kicks, can to use those strikes, and... And just from a mutual... Oh, that's ooh, like. <laughs> just from a mutual respect standpoint, I hope Nathan House can make it to future shot. I'm not going to be one of those guys who says, oh, well, Nathan House is gone, so that means an easy victory for Team DCA. I'm not going to be that kind of selfish guy like Shazine would be if she was still in charge. I want to have a fair three-on-three -three match. Yeah. Yeah, I, mean, I definitely want to I definitely want to have a night. I definitely want to have a fair three-on-three -three match so that, you know, she still can beat the hell out of you guys. That's nothing against me, is it? No. Oh, I'll, I'm talking him. <laughs> hey, I'm sorry, man. I'm, I'm, I'm biased, you know? That's just me. <laughs> I'm not, no, I, there's, no shame in, there's no shame in my game. I'm, I'm biased. Hey, it's, shit. It's, it's cool. It's cool. A little friendly competition. There's nothing wrong with that. And Alexander hanging him on the bottom rope there. And also... Tonight, also a huge match set for Future Shot is going to be decided tonight as, wait a minute, covered by Alexander, one, no, as CJ Logan and Mark Austin will go at it, the winner will face my DCA World Champion Atlas Jones for the championship at Future Shot. Phoenix stepping on the arm of, um, of Washington, Alexander 6'5", six, six, 226 from Seattle. Gonna have to watch this, and Phoenix is gonna have to watch for what Alexander Ooh. called. Oh, the amazing DDT and a nice takedown there by Mr. Amazing. Amazing. God save <laughs> <laughs> hey, me. Hey, oh, Alexander, Alexander's not, not, not short on confidence, that's for sure. He, but he can back it up in the ring. Ooh, man. Amazing. Who the fuck do you think it is? Paul Orndorff, Mr. Wonderful, what the hell? On. Just the one. Ooh. Says the referee agent might have a deep arm drag by Phoenix again. I'm going after the leg. Yeah, Mr. Amazing's in the ring with a man 
who's won tag team gold as well as national championship gold here in the CCL and the first winner of Re Revolution. Uh-oh. Now, shot just fine by Washington, but now he gets a bat of the leg by Phoenix. And now, no. Oh, man, that... The I'll just get the shot. Uh-oh, wait I'll a minute. Just... And now and Sylvia. Oh, oh, trying to take out Sylvia on the outside. And now Jordan Sylvia. And AJ Monahan getting in his face now, telling him not to get involved. And that's a, that's a wise thing. But then here comes Alexander. Tries to get tossed there, but I think as you were about to mention, that was the distraction that Alexander needed. And that's what made the change so dominant in DCA, just being able to take that advantage from any distraction. And you know Alexander calls himself the leader of the team of Team DCA. I mean, one thing Team DCA has got to realize, they're, they're going up against a very, very strong team. Again, Matt Phoenix, first winner of Revolution, former tag champ, former national oh, 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 oh. champion, former tag team champion, former national champion, Tommy Kazarian, former Money in the Bank winner, former Ooh. world champion, oh, former tag team champion, Jesus Christ, and then Nathan that could, Howes. That could be it right there. He's oh. not winner of the Money in the Bank World Rumble, former world champion. I mean, this team is stacked. And the question is, who's the third man in Team DCA? Now, Alexander, what's you got in mind? Oh, my goodness. I know you're going to ask me, wait a minute, Darius and D. Well, you should know the answer to that question, but I don't, honestly. I haven't even chosen the third man yet. And right now, when the killing lock, I mean, guess it. Yeah, that's when the killing lock. Oh, oh, my God. That, yeah, that, that reminds me of something. Yeah, yeah. Like, put a blur on it or something. That, ah, 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 ah. Yeah, ah don't, don't look at it, Chef. Come on. That, that's not good. No, it's not good. So, ah, 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 ah. That did not, that did not. The leg is not, no, the leg is not supposed to be like that. Like, just. That did not something out of, out of socket. Yeah, that. Uh oh, wait a minute, he's going up to the top rope. No, wait a minute. And that axe hand. Oh! crowned him. I will rule you! I was waiting for that. Oh! DDT on the floor! That's one thing about Phoenix and along with Kazarian, they're both daredevils. They will take those high risks. Uh, take those high risks. Eggs and Kazarian together make it our future foundation. The longest reigning tags, the longest reigning champions, singles or tag, men or women in CCL history. Held the tag titles for about 14 months. Well, almost in a little over a year. Nice ball away for Slam off the middle of the moon drop. Near fall. Oh, kick is blocked. That clothesline was not. Oh, it's just the amazing rush. And he oh. hits it. Amazing rush connects. Now Alexander on that top rope. Hits the same on the side rope. One, two, no. And now Joy and Sylvia take out part of the announce table for some reason. Probably, probably frustrated. Probably because he's an asshole. Yeah, I'll yes. say that. That too. And now look. Oh, hey, look, oh boy. Oh boy, shows it there. Shows it there. And there's Sylvia up on the ring and distracting the referee. Okay. Well, it looks like well, he's in front of Well, to be, to be fair, Kazarian was on the apron too, as you can see. He's still on the apron. But now that gets reversed. And Phoenix backslide. Backslide pin. And, and Tommy Kazarian's been ejected from the match. He's, he's, he's had it. He's, he's had it. He's. He's had him beat for at least a 20 count by now. And now Sylvia's on the apron. Yes. Oh my head. Get, get this thing under control, will you? And look, if you don't know who Sylvia is, just, just look at his ass. Well, you won't look at it now because he's gone. <laughs> and now it's a fair one on one match, it seems. Oh, wait, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Amazing DDT. No. Someone will 
And now Matt Phoenix can put this away right here. Uh oh, it's coming. Here it comes. That's up. That's up for you, Mr. Amazing. Ooh. That's it. Very sweet. Can't be Mr. Amazing. You lost it. And that's a great count. And that's one up for Team CCL. And it was over. Nine jobs. Great win right there. Nice job. Nice job. Nice job. Nice job. Distractions aside, this was a hell of an opener. As, C as Team CCL was first blood, if you know, as, I, I give out to him credit. He, he put up a hell of an effort here. Yeah, he did. That was the time I splashed that guy in the ball. And then this. You see, look, Tommy Kazarian had the referee distracted first. And then Sylvia had the referee distracted. They both I had the referee distracted. This man had it first. That's, that's true, but I'll just point the fact that. And then Thomas Kazarian gets ejected. Referee still distracted trying to get some order. Then Sylvia gets on the apron. He's distracting the referee. And he gets ejected. And then the ending of the match went for the amazing DET. Gets power. And that was the end. Honestly. Honestly, by Phoenix. Guess the cover, guess the win. Who the hell is this? Outside in the, uh, guess in the parking lot area of the Birmingham Jefferson Civic Center. What is it for people showing up late, man? Usually you get fired huh. for shit like that. Yeah, or at least, or at least a heavy fun or something, man. Come on, come on, man. Who's in there? Oh, someone's coming out. It's the world heavyweight champion. Oh my goodness!
Whoa, Mary Jane. Whoa, I thought we'd go way back. Uh, no, hi, greatness. How are you doing today? Oh, uh, how are you feeling? Nothing like that. You just want to get straight to the business, huh? Huh? No worries, no worries, no worries. I'm just messing with you. But straight to the business. The truth of the matter is, due to avoid injury, Xavier Mitchell has banned me from all CCL events until future shock. But then something had to happen. Something had to happen. A man by the name of Casey Gordon decided to run in and beat the living crap out of me at the end of my match, ruining the greatness challenge. Ruining a lot of things. Ruining uh, just, just my day. Ruining my night. And since that day, I have not slept. I can't eat. Because I am unsatisfied. No man can trespass into my ring. No man can trespass into my match. No man can trespass into CCL without speaking to the big dog. As the champion, I represent the brand. I represent everything that CCL has worked hard to be built to be. I may not like every person in this company. They may not like me. But one thing and one thing only. If you're not here, you can't just trespass here. So my job is to welcome Casey Gordon properly to CCL. So tonight, I want Casey Gordon in the ring. I don't care. I don't care what Xavier Mitchell says. I don't care what anybody says. I am the CCL world champion. And if you want to be in CCL, you need to speak to the world champion. So be there, Casey. I decided to bring my gear. Let's make things interesting. Let me welcome you properly. My name is the Great D. I'm the CCL world champion. And I'm about to show you what greatness truly is. That takes some time. Not only the world champion, Great D, is going to confront Casey Gordon here tonight, Dan. I, I, I don't, I don't know how wise that is. What did Zelda want though? Um, she is actually in a match right about now. She'll be taking on the undefeated Ashley Knight. Oh wow! When was the last time Zelda was in a match? I'm trying to think. It, 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 it's quite some time. It's not coming to me. It's funny though, she got the job in it. Well, here's a woman who has certainly made waves in her short time here in CCL. You know, that reminds me of the of Cold Survivor Series 2001, the uh, Winner Take All match. Yep. I was watching that, uh, I was watching, yeah, I was watching that on the, on the way here. Like, Were you watching on the network that free for everybody who just signed up as well? Uh huh. Nice. Yeah. By the way, speaking of which, uh, Speaking of Survivor Series, uh, yeah. Big little thing happened on uh, uh, Sunday night, didn't it? Yeah. A couple nights ago. Yeah, a uh, 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 Hall of Famer and someone who won multiple world championships finally made his appearance in WWE. Yeah, and, and then the internet broke. No, the internet didn't break, the internet fucking shattered. <laughs> Here we go. 
believe, I believe, I believe that the pieces are all still trying to be picked up from that. And actually, Knight, all over Zelda here in the early going. Y'all want to know what we're talking about. After you watch the show, go check it out on the network. Right. I believe it's still free, as not it? Yeah, still free for another couple, another, couple, couple, another week or so. Yes, we don't have any money. Uh, oh, uh, goodness. But don't, but don't right. miss Future Shock while you're doing that. Exactly. Alright, Future Shock. Oh, good job. Future Shock this coming Sunday, by the way. Uh, we were supposed, we were supposed to have it on Thanksgiving, and I know. Oh, look out! Hmm. The flying night, if you will. This nice sister is taking her suit, taking it to the competition. You know, her brother is currently at home in Connecticut. Convalescing after the ass whipping, the beating that he took courtesy of uh, Mark Austin, Mark Austin. who's now the national champion. Seeing that Mark Austin, he'll be in he'll be in action in a few he'll be in action in a few moments. A go against the Alpha Jack, CJ Logan for the right to fight the DCA World Champion Atlas Jones at Future Shot. I'm, I'm yeah, looking thanks. forward to that match a lot. Well, then Austin, the final two in the countdown to Destiny tournament that began a couple of weeks ago. And now Ashley will think, oh! Not sure what Ashley had in mind, but Zelda had the counter for it. And it was a hell of a counter. Power bomb is only get to two, though. I'll tell you what, with all, with, with all these divisions just getting deeper and deeper, you know, competitors can ill afford to lose now. Exactly. Yeah, especially with this partnership with DCA and everything with CCL now. You know, everybody's looking for their spot. Now, oh, oh, that was a lot of there, my Zelda. I mean, you, you think about Akira, you can know, and, and, oh. and Christy Montero. Think about the opportunity they have. Got cover, got two. Just, just because of this partnership, just think about how everyone else is willing to step up their game to see if they get, you know, the same opportunities. T-ball suplex by Ashley. Cover. Had a leg open, only got two. Half kicks, oh! Damn it, took Zelda's head off there. Now Ashley up top. Look at where Moon Song she got it. Two and no. Drop kicks. That is solid. Doesn't knock it down, but that DDT does. One thing by Ashley Knight, it seems like that wrestling accident runs in the family. It does. He is dead. He drop kick is a beauty. You, you got a feeling if, if I tell you, it's only it, the way Ashley is going right now, not just in this match, but since she's come to CCL, it's only a matter of time to before she has championship. Over. Right, whether it's the whether it's the bombshell right. championship or the women's championship. Uh oh, look at that! A triforce by Zelda. Those officers have seen that move. Now Zelda, perhaps an opportunity to pull a huge upset here. Oh, Zelda, look at the arrow play. And Ashley Kelly. Got her. With a smoke blow, she gets it. Ashley goes again. <laughs> that wreck, right wrestling neck even came into play there. And here we go. Ashley. Jess Nishas puts another one in the wind column, and I tell you what, if, if, if I was Shannon Shan or Taylor Star, I'd keep an eye out for this woman. Uh, yeah, exactly. Definitely keep an eye out for her. She's going to be a big deal, Holmes. I'm just saying. <laughs> 